are going Heaven knows where we are going But we know we will get there Dear children, as you celebrate Black History Month, I hope you do not forget to visit the back shelf. The back shelf is filled with interesting stories, true stories, I must say. Some of these stories will fill you up with different kinds of emotions and leave you with many questions. But most importantly, remember this, that however the story goes, these stories are meant to make you feel empowered to realize and know that this country indeed the world at large has and would always be diverse and thrives on its diversity we are all connected for a wise man once said when we know ourselves to be connected to all others, acting compassionately is simply the natural thing to do. This is the back shell. Hi, my name is Grace, and as we celebrate Black History Month, I would like to show you an important day of celebration that is observed in many African and Caribbean countries, the Independence Day. This is the day when Africans and Caribbean countries celebrate their freedom from colonial, also known as colonization. But what is colonization? <laughs> You see, colonialism can be easily explained like this. Imagine you are in your home, a happy home with your family. Your brother, sister, your mother, father and your pet. One day, a stranger comes strolling around your neighbourhood. He sees your beautiful garden and says, Oh, this house looks nice. The garden looks nice. He knocks on your door and asks your parents if he could visit. In great admiration of your house, he comes in and as a guest, He's treated very nicely, but sees all the beautiful and expensive things you have at home. The shoes, the game console, the toys, the abundance of food in your fridge, and he becomes envious. Your parents offer to give him anything he wants, but his greed is insatiable. He decides he wants more and more, so he establishes an unfair trade relationship with your parents. He gives your parents an empty plastic bottle for a bag of sugar gives them a small bar of chocolate for three pairs of shoes. It goes on for a while until the visitor feels very much in control. Eventually, he doesn't even ask for permission. He goes into the fridge and takes whatever he needs out to his home. He goes to your room and takes your toys to his home. He continues coming and taking whatever he wants until such time when he comes to your home and makes it his home. He changes your name, makes you think everything about you is inferior. He forces your parents to work for him and he moves you out of your house to a little shed in the back. This is how colonialism looked like. A lot of European countries came and took over Africa's rich mineral resources and their people far away from their homeland, away from friends and families. They took royal blood, they took ordinary free people from Africa to their countries and made them slaves. Over time, they even sent some of their people to rule Africa and to take over these homelands and make them theirs. The historians even call this period the scramble for Africa. All the European countries wanted a piece of Africa, countries such as Uganda, Nigeria, Tanzania, Kenya and many other African countries where were once colonised by Britain. Then 
what is right and just. Happy Black History Month! Thank you! Bye! Why are you? But we know it will